in the bathroom now if you watch the channel for a bit you might have seen where I did the bathroom last time I'm fed up with it uh, I don't like it this is the really bad paint job I did last time can you see where I've not even finished off at the top so I basically want to give it an overall because I think it's a nice bathroom or can be it just looks crap at the moment <coughs> obviously you can see there's a lot of tat hanging around, there's this damage here, um, this is because, and you'll notice I've got no taps, but I've got some taps arriving tomorrow, um, I'm gonna, you'll see them when I get them, when I get them fitted, because this video is going to be, you know, as it progresses. These tiles up here, them ones, if you look at them, so if you look at them, they're like big, aren't they? If you look at the ones at the bottom, they're the short ones. I'm just trying to get the bloody camera to focus. It's struggling. See what I mean? So what's happened is someone that's on the house at some point has put those tiles in. Well, I'm taking them down because if you look over here, it's got like a really nice dado rail. So I'm just going to have these normal tiles. So then I'm going to pull them down shortly. I've got a tool. I'm going to pull this curtain down um i'm not having i'm having a shower but i'm having a shower that's mounted on the tap so you just use it as a as a tap. i only need a shower really for when i want to wash my hair so i could sit in the bath and wash my hair i'm not bothered or just hold the shower across my body if i want to get a quick wash you know um but i gen i tend to shower at the gym now when i go there and i go a few times a week so i'll have a bath just to keep clean on the daily and then you know go and have a big power shower at the gym or whatever anyway so, what I want to get away from is all the crap that is in this, like, the stuff around the bath that I've just left because it's just a mess. All that stuff on top of the toilet there, that's all going to come away. That window, I'm going to use that to store some stuff. But I'm going to get some nice canisters to store my shampoo in that so it looks nice. And I can just put my shampoos in and then, you know what I mean, and do it that way. All my cleaning stuff is going to go out. That horrible thing behind the toilet, I don't know what's behind that. I might have a look, a tick, because it might just be the pipes, and I think they would be better than that horrible, disgusting box. You know what I mean? But worst case scenario, I can just paint that box. So the colour scheme that I'm going to go for, oh, and this here, this is coming out. That's attached to the wall, getting rid of that. I'm not having that. God, them white rugs, don't they get dirty? I only put that down a few days ago. It's strange, that. Right, everybody. So, I've knocked all the tiles off. It took me 15 minutes. I had to go in for the first tile here at the side. So I knocked the seal off and then I got behind the tile that way and then worked my way around and the same on, on this side. Um... So the lucky thing is, I think the plaster underneath is fine, which means I won't have to get a plaster in. However, I need to remove all this, um, whatever it is. I don't know what it is. What's that thing? Tiling putty, is it? I ain't got a, ain't got a clue. But anyway, I'm going to get them, just work my way through now. I've already moved a load of tiles. That's the rest of them in the bath. Uh, and then we're going to have to start paying attention to these edges because the person that lived here before... What they've done, they've filled in over that, so it's black, and it looks like they just filled something over the top, so it's really unsightly. So I'm going to try and scrape off as much as I can. Ultimately, it's just going to get painted with tile paint. And then here, where these tiles are missing, I'm going to, I've got some foam. You know, like the foam they use to put walls in? Well, it's designed to, like, fill gaps, so I'm going to do foam as level as I can, and then I'm going to stick the tiles back on the wall. Um, I got some from Charity today that should fit. Failing that, I've got some tiles that were pulled off that I can put back on. Um, and then it'll be painted. It's going to be regrouted where needed. And then I'm going to do, well, we'll leave that for later. So, can't wait to get rid of that tile though. I hate it. <laughs> 
So I'm going to start working on this now to get rid of this. Right, everybody, I had to cease operations because I've dropped a tile in the bath and it's burst the bath. It's burst the bath, should I say. So I've got to buy a new bath. Anyhow, I've seen this roll top one downstairs. I'm going to go and order it in a minute. I just want to do a bit more work here. And then I'm going to order it. I'll show you what it looks like. Everyone, I'm exhausted. Let me show you what we've done today. It looks a shite show. Um, but I've nearly got all of that off the wall now. I'm not doing any more today. I'm, I'm shattered. I've been going all day um, since about 11 o'clock. It's now half three. Sunday. I want a bit of rest before I start work tomorrow. The bath's out. It was really messy underneath there. You can still see some of the rubble. Um, I've got a bit of a dilemma because I've got to decide what to do. These taps are okay. But I've got to decide what I'm going to do in terms of that there, how to box it in. Because, of course, when the bath goes in, you'll be able to see that. <coughs> so I'll have to do something. Um, <coughs> excuse me, it's dusty in here. It's been decided that we're going to put, or I'm going to put on, oh, Simon will help me. We're going to put on some, um, <coughs> sorry, we're going to put on some panels. So I'm just going to leave the tiles as they are, put the panels on underneath. I'm going to paint all around that door. I really like this door, you know, it looks, it's full of my hair. That's not dirt, it's hair dye. You know, when I've been doing the air, it's been splashing on. That's what that is. So I'm going to have to stop doing that. But I really like this door. I love the stained glass. You know I'm all about the stained glass, don't you? Gravitate towards it in the churches. And I'm really pleased that I've got a little bit of some in my house. I know that's not from a church, but I love it. Um, I'm not going to show you in the mirror. But the, that mirror there is being changed. I've got a beautiful one downstairs. Beautiful. I'm not going to show you. I'm going to wait for the reveal for that. That's going to come down later on or tomorrow after work. I'll do some more work tomorrow night. We've took the box in from around the the, um, the bog. And all this needs clearing off. Um, and then I think, after I've got that down... Oh, and I'm going to take that down as well. <clears throat> There's an antiques place um, over in Ardsley called the Chapel. Uh, some, some Chapel Antiques, it's called. It's an old church. Anyway, I, I meant to ask the fella actually last time I was in what the issue was, but anyway, he's got some beautiful light fittings, so I'm going to go and buy one off him and then get me an electrician to come and fit a light fitting in here. Um, <clears throat> and instead of having this pulley thing here, I think I'm going to get that taken out um, and get him to install me a switch down here with like a dimmer, because I really like to have baths and I think <clears throat> once I've got that bath done, I won't it be really lovely if I can get an old light fitting up here and just dim it down, maybe light some candles for a little bit of extra light. Something else I want to get as well is, I <laughs> know it sounds ridiculous this, I'm going to see about getting some sort of cheap iPad type thing attachment onto the wall, so when I'm in the bath, um, I can watch my YouTube and stuff, because I usually do it on my phone, but I want, I want something, I don't, don't want any electrics in the bathroom for obvious reasons, but I think I'm going to look at that as part of uh, doing it. So. You know what, everybody? It looks shocking. These are coming out. This, th These. That's going. They'll come out tomorrow. Um, it looks shocking, but I'm really, really... Actually, I'm very, very happy that I'm doing it now. And I, I've got a clear understanding of what I want. I'm going to keep my tree spirit in here once it's done. But I think I might move him to that wall over there, just above the toilet. Um, or maybe above here. I think he might look good there. Oh, and on the roof here, I've decided, well... I went to B&M today and they've got some white stick on floor planks so the idea is we're going to board this out just so it's smooth and then I'm going to get those um, stick on tiles and lay them and be dead easy to lay it around the toilet as well and the basin um, so yeah I'm really happy with it everyone oh and if you watched my videos before you might have seen that I had a bookcase here which was attached to the wall and since I've moved in, it's been a bit of a pain. I've utilised it because I've put all my books on there, but it's been a bit of a pain because, like, you literally had a tiny bit of space to get round and, like, at night and stuff. Look at that dark because you have to hold on to the wall to get round. I'm going to paint all of this. 
so that's the set that's the case there it's been taken out this is all my old bed um it's not actually that old it's about 18 well i bought it when i moved in but i don't like it so that's going to my mum she's going to put it in the spare room but yeah that's where the um thing were so i'm going to fill in those holes and then when i paint the top of the stairs so i'm doing the bathroom first i'm not worried about anything else just yet i want this bathroom done then i'm going to divert my attention to possibly the staircase because i want this carpet out i want i'm not decided what color i want yet but <laughs> thinking about the colors that i'm going to be doing in the bathroom i think a gray would probably look nice with the white floor can't have a white carpet because it'll be shit up in no time but i think uh, like a nice gray one hard wearing to go up the stairs but something decent get all this ripped out i'm going to get the same carpet in my bedroom and in the back bedroom so they'll just do everything on one day and then but before i do that i've got a paint here so i'm going to get a new frame for my mermaid um but yeah here what i want to do i want to get one of those nice hall tape no, in fact i don't want it, a table i just want a nice beauty in fact i know there is one in old chapel there's a beautiful mirror that would look mint there in fact i'm going to go and buy it tomorrow <laughs> i've decided i'm going to go tomorrow and buy it um i'm gonna to have to haggle him down a bit though because he wants a bit for it but oh it'll look amazing there everyone i'm telling you it's a beautiful mirror yeah i'm going buying it so that's unless he sold it already loads of people have been asking about it so that's it um i'm gonna be doing yes there's that rain mirror there i got that for a fiver it's beautiful i'll show it you in a minute so everything is going to plan it doesn't look like it but it is i'm going to be doing it in dribs and drabs these videos just to uh you know if you've got any ideas for me let me know what you think will look pretty cool i'm going to show you the mirror that i've got because the style that i'm going for in it i'm taking it back a bit because the house is quite old and i, I want it to be obviously i'm not buying like antique baths and stuff like that. i'm getting a brand new bath but i'm going for that old style and i think it's in keeping it's an old it's a little old cottage in it so I want it, that, he was saying that they didn't even have bloody bathroom, so it's a bit of a joke, isn't it, really? Um, let me just show you, it, the house is a mess, because honestly, I've been dragging crap through it all day. Oh, I've got something from us in there, I know what that is. So this mirror here, cut floor. <laughs> this mirror here, I think it's gorgeous. It's a bit of fiver for it, it's beveled glass. It's actually quite big. So I think I'm going to put that mirror there where the court stand is eventually because i think it'll look really nice no one saw this is painted and all that's painted in that gray carpet i'll show you the mirror that i've got for the bathroom here just put it on here so you can see it that one i think it's stunning gold frame oh get out the mirror sarah i've looked shocking today gold frame beautiful and with the colours that I'm doing in the bathroom, that'll go really well. So that'll be what I brush my teeth in, wash my face in. Yeah, so what do you think, everyone? Anyway, um, I think I'm going to sit down and relax now. I would like to get a bath. In fact, I'll have to go to the gym. I'm going to go to the gym and get myself a shower because I'm absolutely minging. And I'll see you all probably in weeks. because I'm going to do some cooking videos. Oh, I didn't say, did I? Uh, I put a pound on this week um but i'm happy with it honestly i'm happy with a pound on and i'll tell you why let me turn the camera around hang on are you i don't even know what i look like <laughs> i don't even know my ears are shocking i can't straighten it because my neck's still really really sore i don't even know how i've done that renovation today but my doctor did say look move about don't overexert yourself sort of have a little bit because i've done a couple of tip runs but i've got to get it done everyone um so yeah i put a pound on I'm happy with that and I'm going to tell you why because Jesus it hurts doesn't it holding cameras up I'm happy with it and I think this lens might be a bit dusty everyone so just bear with me but I'm happy with it because um Monday after I fell down the stairs Tuesday I couldn't even think about cooking anything there, were, there weren't even anything in that I wanted I was going to go shopping on the Tuesday after work like you know and then do some cooking um because I had stuff for a day, but literally I was hungry, obviously, because I'd only just fell down. I fell downstairs, I weren't ill, 
like I, I were battered. I'm back time, tea time, come, I thought I can't even think about standing up, I was in that much agony, I thought I'll just have to order something. So I did have a takeaway but I pointed it, it was Friday's chicken in like batter and this sauce what with it. Um, so I had that and then I stuck to my diet for the rest of the week, I had like salads and stuff and chicken dinners which I really enjoy, my chicken and chips and curry. I need to switch it up this week which I'm going to be doing. Um, can't keep eating the same, but can, but it's boring and it eating the same stuff over and over and over again. Um, so yes, and then last night, I sort of got it in my head that I caught my diet up, so I thought, oh, I'm just going to have a bottle of wine. I gave in, um, but today, uh, been right back on the ice, um, eating well all day, and yeah, I'm going to eat nice for my tea. Why am I for my tea? Oh yeah, making a corn bolognese, because I really like that, with some pasta, um, and I'm going to have a little bit of uh, cheddar cheese pointed. So that's going to be really good, everybody. So um, in the week, I am going to be doing some cooking. I don't know what I'm going to be cooking yet, but I will do some sort of cooking. Do a few recipes for you. Um, try and do some tasty, low-fat ones, you know, some, some out the normal. So I'll have a good search through Weight Watchers database, find something really delicious that shouldn't be a diet food, but it is, you know, that sort of stuff. Um, and that's it. So no doubt I look absolutely horrific. Um, <laughs> I feel, I feel alright, but yeah, oh, and next weekend, I said it on my live yesterday, next weekend is an olden video, I am going to be doing some work in the bathroom, but I'm going to give myself sat the off, um, because I want to go down to Oldham, I've got two videos that I want to do, oh, I'm really looking forward to the history one, oh, it's going to be fantastic, honestly, I'm so excited for it, um, it's going to be like Sarah's UK Graveyard, Old. it's going to be facts it's going to be places it's going to be interesting stories and yeah so we're, we're doing that and um then i'm seeing my friend lou from lou's life so no doubt we'll be good well we will be going for dinner somewhere it needs to be somewhere diet friendly for me or you know healthy um so no doubt lou will do a review on that and i'll review my dinner as well i think on her channel if she wants me to well i'll say what it's like you know um and that's it so i'm gonna go I'm going to go to the gym, I'm going to have a shower because I feel hanging, can't have a bath because obviously I've not got a bath now and I'm not standing at the kitchen sink. <laughs> so I'll see y'all, um, yeah I'll see you midweek.